I have here with me one of my favorites. She's one person who always speaks the truth to pa. She is Kemi Oluloyo. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Good evening, Ma. Loyo. Kemi Oluloyo. I love the way you sound your name, always. How are you doing tonight, Ma? I'm doing very great. Kemi talks. Um, I'm really glad to be here today. It's emotional. Um, I only have lipstick on, I don't have makeup because I'm crying and my sunglasses is closed and all that. Larry Fasasi was a friend. He was a friend. He was a good entertainer. A journalist likes good entertainers that are always there. He started the whole trend of multi-entertainment. And when I say that, I can't pinpoint anybody in the 70s and 80s. I did the research today. If I say, if you ask me who is a comedian in the 70s or 80s, I may tell you Baba Salah, who is a musician, I might tell you Fela, and who is an actor, I might tell you an actor in the old days, any actor out there, um, just is a series, Dr. Sid's dad. But to be a comedian, an actor, and a musician at the same time is dynamic. And even I, I try to encourage young people. I'm a pharmacist, I'm a journalist, I'm a PR specialist. But on Instagram, you can find me as a comedian sometimes, as a musician sometimes, you know what I mean? And even acting. Today, a lot of young people want to be famous. They want to be doing skits, many skits online, many singers. But this is the one, Larry Fasasi brought out this trend. And I want people to remember him very well for that. Uh, uh, the Nigeria's pioneer multi-entertainer. I love the sound of that. And I'm sure you're taking that with you. But it was just a Get Well Soon thing. But I was more into getting my son, Rich KJT. Um, that morning, 11th, he was going to be in the punch for his music. The day Sound Sultan died. Sound Sultan met my son at a concert, LLAM. And... Did you see the picture of them together? What do you want to be when you grow up? I actually have the video. I want to be a good singer like you. And what did I get? On the day that he was supposed to be seeing my son's article, he passed away. I was very sad. I was very upset. And I said, maybe we'll find out what happened. Really, really, what was it? Then they posted, family said, angioimmunoblastic T cell lymphoma. And I'm a pharmacy doctor, doctor of pharmacy. Eh? Where did he catch that? The first thing I said is, wait a minute, people are saying he didn't smoke, he didn't drink. The first thing I, if you saw my NTA thing, I said, oh my goodness, the lymphoma, non-Hodgkin's non lymphomas are very, very, very hard to treat. It's not about medicine, it's not about, you have stem cells, a controversial treatment. They're still causing fights between the religious and the medical fields because stem cells come from aborted babies and placenta of babies that have been born. Very expensive, very, you can't even find, toxins everywhere in Nigeria. I think Larry's death should be able, we should be able to use that as a point of reasoning in our government to pass environmental laws. You can't see trailer and tanker blasting carbon monoxide in America or Canada. Before they enter the highway, they have weigh stations. They weigh them for their load and they make sure their silence is fine. That should not happen. Everywhere in Nigeria, we're inhaling carbon monoxide. I came from Sangotero to Victoria and my Uber had petrol in the trunk. And I kept smelling it. Is there petrol? He said, yeah, I just bought it. I'm going home to fuel my generator. After you, I'm going home. Ah, what should I do? In the middle of Lekki Express, we dropped me. Let me call another Uber. No, I had to sit down and inhale petrol fumes throughout the trip. These things are killing us. Toxins everywhere are killing us. Fruits, vegetables being ripened with carbide. NAFDAQ needs to do their part. Federal Ministry of Environment needs to do their part. This is why I'm leaving investigative journalists after December. I'm still doing investigative journalism now. I started The Rest of Niger, which is a new platform on Instagram for young journalists i use this to train them they'll be posting news and all that i'm passing the baton because i'm going into governance governance not politics governance i want to be in the government as a minister as an advisor something because many things need to be done environmental laws need to be passed for larry final words i want to tell you is we're not going to forget you larry you're free now and you're no more in pain but we will keep your legacy and your children, we will take care of your children. I'm planning a fundraiser. 
I want to do it on my platform specifically for the wife, Farida. We're going to get an account number from a local bank here that belongs to her. And then we'll ask people to donate into that. Then we're going to open a GoFundMe from the other end. That GoFundMe will be linked to her so that we can push money in there in both areas. I want them to have as, as much, I want the children to have as much cash as possible for their future. He had a three, three kids. Uh, they were young. None of them was 15 that I knew of. They're all below 12 or something and they're gonna go to university. They're gonna go to college. They're gonna need money. So we have to have a fund for them. You know, some, something of a memorial fund. I want to start that, and I'm going to start working on that very fast, like on Monday. I want, I'm going to do a lot of sound salts and PR on my... You know when I say sound salts PR, it's not like someone's paying me anything. I'm doing it for my own. I want my platform to get the information out. I want people to help the family because the children are very young. The faces of the dead needs to remain in the news. They should never be forgotten. Thank you. I love this. This is like the best news I've got. Someone who is ready to put out all that she can to get money for the family. I really love it. I really love it. Thank you so much for talking to You're us. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Thanks to everybody. Rest in peace, Sound Sultan. Thank you. We have so many talents out here, yet to celebrate Sound Soul Tan. Of course, we know that his memories will live long forever. That's what we promise anyways. Let's talk to Kola D to know how it feels about Sound Soul Tan. Good evening. Good evening. Um, so first, how are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. I mean, a bit sad. But yeah. I know, I know. We all are sad. 11th of July is a date we'll remember for a long time. But then now we're here to celebrate his life. What's going on through your mind? Um, Sound Sultan is such an amazing guy. So I met him for the first time in 2016. We did a show in um, South Africa, MTN Mandela Day. And what I first noticed was his humility. He was such a humble guy. That was my one another experience. But we were there for seven days. So I mean, I got to see him every time we had breakfast. And he was so down to earth, very funny. So that, so that was my, I, had, I had videos of us singing at one point at the piano. And he was just a very lovely guy, very friendly not condescending he had a very great attitude i was a very positive person so i mean that's why people are celebrating him because i believe that everybody saw who sound Sultan was and he was really respected and also as a child growing up he impacted my life musically i remember listening to jack and you know so he had such an impact that we didn't even know until now that he played so much impact in the industry and in the life of young artists like myself so we're really going to miss him and I mean, I know he's in a better place. I'm very, very sure. I'm sure too. I remember that when I got the news, the first thing I screamed was, Jesus! What did you say first? I was in church actually when I saw it and I was I actually just shed a tear. It was, I didn't, I didn't expect it. I was in church. I don't use my phones in church. I just checked my phone and I saw R.I.P. Sound Sultan and a tear just came out. And man, I was just, throughout that day, I was, I was a mess. I was a mess throughout that day. But it, it, I mean, it's live and... I mean, I mean, we have to make the best out of it and I believe that he made the best out of his time here on earth and I mean I'm proud to have met him and I'm happy to have met him at one point in my life and I know he's smiling on all of us here today and he's happy that we're celebrating him because that's what I said I said I'm happy that they're doing this because he deserves every bit of celebration you know yes you know one thing I love the most about talking to people tonight is how they go from being sad to being happy when you talk about sound so tan and that really means a lot for me personally let's talk about some of his favorite works he's worked he worked with a lot of people I'm finding it hard to use was worked you know past tense for yeah, him exactly. but we have to it's it's the reality right now but he worked with a lot of people he did a lot of songs himself what's his favorite song uh, your favorite song of his Anywhere you go, make you no know, forget your area. Oh. That's my favorite song of South Sultan. Jagba Dancy is cause that song made me no bud mass. <laughs> so that was I mean that's one of my favorite childhood songs. Um then the one is did with Johnny Drew. I also love that song. So those are my top three. Motherland the remix. Yeah, the remix. Sound Sultan was amazingly talented. Amazingly. I mean, even played the guitars as well. He was just a great guy and his style, I actually love his style by the way. Then it was just very reserved with his heart and everything, like in that picture there. Yeah, so yes. 
All right, people, we're still talking to a lot more um, who've come out to talk and celebrate Sound Soul Turn tonight. Just stay right here. It's Eniola Badmos TV. I will be back in a little bit. Hey, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going on around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. We're still out here paying tribute to Sound Sultan, and yes, his colleagues in the industry are all out to show him their last respect. And trust me, if Sound Sultan could talk to us right now, I can only imagine what he would be saying. But how we hear from you? Good evening. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I'm sure that it must have been really tough dressing up to come here today. I mean, yes, it was. Um, I still cannot believe that. Um, I still cannot because oh, my friend and I were talking about him like a um, few weeks before this happened. So he had, he was going to, I think he had signed my friend, Angelica. So we're always talking about it. And I was telling her of how excited I am to finally hear that she had started working with him because she was always, she was very fond of him. She always spoke. She always spoke about the really nice things he does and I mean even though I did not have a really personal relationship with him but from afar I respected him and I loved his music, I loved his work and I was such a huge fan and yeah to come back here at Terracultural again for this, I was here at Terracultural when he did his Jungle Story yeah, a musical and so to come back here again for this, it feels really sad but I mean I thank God for the life he lived and to have other people come out to celebrate him, I think it's a beautiful thing. It only shows that he lived an amazing life. Right, he sure lived an amazing life. Let's talk about his biggest influence on you music-wise. What would be your favorite song? Okay, so for uh, my favorite song of his, I love J J Jabba Jantis. And so my group and I, we did um, a short cover of it. I think it should be showing here tonight. Yeah, it's a really beautiful cover, two minutes, but I'm sure that he would look down and smile because he would definitely love it. I hope so too. I will make sure we catch that so that we can bring it to you as we continue with this tribute night. But let's finally, um, I want you to breathe in, breathe out, and then give us a tribute to Sound Sultan from your heart. Um, um, so, um, may his peace be with you till we meet again. May his love be with you till we meet again. I know you're gonna make me cry. Thank you for talking to me. So I know that I'm not the only one to go and pass this fight. It never happened. They were times when I felt like I had a show at Musa. Safran two face was supposed to be the main act. Two face got there very early. So I was not there and I called Lonely. You are late and you asked me to go to work. And I was angry. I was like, and I asked him where I am at this time. And I got there. May they not be. I'm so angry. I don't know. It's, I don't care how angry you are at Larry. He will just call me your day, you know what I'm And even when I'm mad at someone, I was like, tell you, people who went for an event, this person, you know what I'm saying? Mata, no, Bajari, you always just change the topic to something. And when we survive some losses in the family, and I will continue crying and everything, you still say, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Some people have it worse than also. And when we left satellites, when we moved away from there, he didn't see himself as a superstar. When any time I was with Lanoi, I was at home. Everything I've done in my life, Lanoi has always been there. I've had people on Instagram in the last one week insulting me, some cussing out. They said I was posting too much pictures and videos about him. And somebody said, leave her. I mean, and I said to myself, you don't even know that this is just a tent. Because when I opened my album from when I was growing up, there's hardly, even when I didn't know it was in the back, it was there. When 
I believed I was a failure. Why was standing with me? When I believed I was a failure, I'm sorry. he said to me, you see what about my share? He stood by me and he called me and said, let me come to your house, let's talk about the way forward. And Larry made sure, if you watch, I watched most of his videos, I was amazed. And the ways that I was featuring in my workshop. He would just not let me be a savior. He would just let me get less of myself. And the last three years has been extremely traumatizing for me. And Larry calls me up for John's story. And we are working with care, doing shows. And he doesn't want me to cry. And he's telling me you have to go out there every night. And April this year, I can't believe it. I can be a walking horse until April this year. so many emotional moments here today and believe me when I say it was really difficult to hold my emotions and tears in I hope that you learned one thing or two from everything a lot of people have said and that is the fact that we need to continually live a conscious life because when you're gone people would have a lot of things to say about you what would that be I will leave you with that thought till we meet in another event. This is the celebration of the life of Sound Sultan. Lanre Fasasi did live well and we'll continue to celebrate him. See you very soon. This is Anyola Badmos TV and my name is Elesho Moyosari Olua. Hey, wonderful people. My name is Anyola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Anyola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and Enola Badmos TV entertainment without bad